apartment for almost two weeks now and I still have no furniture. I've been eating pretty much every meal on the floor and on my bed, which has not been fun. So in my last video, I went to Ikea and since then I've been to Ikea a second time. So I have so much furniture, finally. So I'm gonna start today's video by building a kitchen table, kitchen chairs, two bedside tables, a desk, and a bookshelf. So much stuff. I also got a mirror, but we don't need to put that together, so that's nice. After today's video, I'm finally gonna have my apartment somewhat put together. This video, I think you're gonna see the most progress out of all my moving videos. This is one of the videos I'm most excited for. <laughs> Starting with the bookshelf, I have two boxes. My plan is to put this bookshelf right here. I have my Wi-Fi, and then I'm gonna have one bedside table, my bed, and then my other bedside table all on this wall. So that's my plan. So let's get started. I'm also gonna get to use my toolbox that I just got. Honestly, a lot of people talk about how difficult it is to build IKEA furniture. In my past, I built both of my Alex 9 drawers and like a dresser and a bunch of stuff. And it wasn't too bad, so I'm not too worried, but we'll see how this goes. This is definitely gonna be just a full day of building. Okay. There's a lot of pieces. This is gonna be a rough one. I finished the shelf. It wasn't that it was hard to build, it was just so annoying and it took forever. I literally was working on that for like two hours. Like what? It was only like seven steps. I think it looks really nice right here and I'm excited to start putting my stuff in it. I'm gonna build the bedside tables next to see how much space I have. All right, so I guess we're gonna get started again. I'm eating cherry yogurt, so good. I'm exhausted. Bookshelf looks great behind me. I think the next thing I'm gonna work on is the bedside tables. So heavy. I thought it would look nice to have one on either side of my bed. It's literally hot glue shut. Here we go. This is what the bedside table is gonna look like. I think it's so cute. It has a drawer and then like a little shelf. Damn, another big bag. This is what I'm looking at right now. Aww. It is looking so cute. This was confusing to these silver things. This is like where the drawer is gonna go on. And I could not figure out which way they went. I just couldn't visualize how this was gonna open correctly, but I got it. Oh my God, guys, I finally finished. I was working on this for hours. Oh my God, I don't even know how long I've been doing this. Um, definitely the hardest thing I've built so far. So here is what it's looking like so far. I have my bedside table, my bed, and then my bookshelf. Looks so nice. 
I have been doing this all day and I only have two things done so far. Definitely looks great, but this is quite the project. Like, I am so exhausted. This stuff takes forever. My apartment is finally coming together. It is so cute. I'm so excited to have everything done. Okay, next I think I'm gonna do the desk. Those are the legs and then this is the desk. Okay, that definitely wasn't easy. All right, the desk is done. So I ended up finishing both bedside tables and then I also started to put stuff on my shelf. The only thing I have missing is my bed frame. The one I want from Ikea is sold out. So that will be the last piece I get and then this whole part of my room will be done. So I'm planning to put a lot of stuff on my bookshelf. So far it's coming along really well. I got these super cute baskets from Ikea. They look so nice with it. So on the bottom I have one of the baskets and it's filled with pictures. I print so many pictures. So I have them all in there and then I have a photo album and these are all journals I also have my Wi-Fi right there. It's plugged in. So I thought it's perfect I could just put it on the shelf This shelf has books and more pictures in that box and then I have a basket with candles in that one And I haven't really decorated these shelves or put anything here I'm kind of just setting stuff on to see how it looks so far. It's the perfect size I have a plant here So I'm gonna continue decorating this shelf and putting more things on it and then I'm also gonna start decorating my bedside table. So I found my salt lamp in one of my boxes. I haven't unwrapped it yet. I think this would be so cute on this night table. I lay in the middle of my bed because it's just me sleeping in here, but I was kind of thinking that side would be my nightstand. But after putting my room together, I kind of like this one more. Oh my God, I missed this. I love it so much. I have some of these cute dishes that I thrifted. If you guys are ever looking for like cute dishes, go to the thrift store. They have so many cute ones. This one has like flowers. I'm gonna keep this on here too, I think. My journal, I'm keeping this in the drawer so that I have it right next to me when I go to sleep. This is looking cute. Here, I'm gonna dig through my boxes. I literally have like a mountain right here. I'm gonna take a picture. Like this is what I'm looking at right now. Just a mess. All right, so I have this cute strawberry dish. I thrifted this as well. I have this candle, so cute, it has my birthday. I have this little bowl of crystals. I have some earbuds. I'm gonna put these in the strawberry jar. Glossier lip balm it is coming along so cute. I'm gonna move on from my bedside table and go to my bookshelf. <laughs> So like this is one of my Polaroids. I'm gonna put this on the bookshelf. This Glossier water bottle that's way too small for water. So I use it for decoration. This is cute, it's a mushroom and it lights up. And it's also a speaker. So, so far, a lot of the stuff on here is random. It's definitely gonna change as I unpack more stuff. But so far, this is looking so good. It actually has so much of my stuff on it. It's crazy how much more space I have in this apartment to put all my stuff because in my room, you know, it was pretty small. It would get cluttered in two seconds. Nothing was ever like fully put away because I just didn't have space for it. So now like that I have all this space and all this new furniture that I get to decorate, like it does not look cluttered in here at all. You know, it looks like everything has a place. Everything looks nice. So I also did my desk and I ended up putting it right here in between the two Alex nine drawers. I think it looks so good, it fits perfectly. This is gonna be the perfect space to work. I'm thinking I can work on my videos, I could do art. So I haven't really unpacked a lot of stuff yet. This is my YouTube plaque and then this artwork that I did with paint. I definitely wanna hang these two up. I also really went in detail with my Alex Nine drawers. I'll show you guys that in a future video, but everything is so much more organized. Like look at this, this is my jewelry. So I'm doing one Alex Nine drawer with school supplies and then the other one with jewelry and hair stuff. So this area is coming out really good. One of the reasons I really need a bed 
frame is because I'm gonna have all this under the bed storage. This is one of the bins so far, and I think I'm gonna have like two. This is kind of just sitting on my floor until I have the bed frame to put it under. I am gonna hang up a couple posters and pictures. Once I have like everything done, that'll be my last step. It's coming out so cute. Okay guys, so next I'm gonna work on probably the most important part of all the furniture, which is the kitchen table and kitchen chairs. I am so excited to finally have a place to sit down and eat. So I really lucked out with this set. I went to Ikea in my last video and I fell in love with this beautiful table and chairs. Dream setup. I was like, okay, this is what I want. And the table was $250 and one chair was $120. Definitely a lot of money. And then they were sold out. So I was like, okay, I don't really even have the option of getting it anyway. And then my mom found a seller who was selling the exact set. So I got the table and four of the chair seats for 75. So I ended up just buying two of the legs for the chairs since I'm only gonna use two chairs. Tell me I didn't look out. Like I saved like $300. So I'm gonna put these together right now. This is the cutest set ever. We got more to build. Basically all my furniture, as I said, is white and wood. And I feel like the table and chairs really ties everything together. All right guys, it is 11 o'clock and I finally finished my table and chairs. Look how cute it is. I am obsessed, it looks so cute. I love the look of the wood with the white. The chairs are super comfy, but oh my God, they gave me the hardest time when I was putting them together. I probably put them together and then took them apart like three times each. I'm so obsessed. I'm in my pajamas now. This is so nice, I get to eat here. Yeah, I cannot believe how long that took to put together. Seriously ridiculous. I'm dead. Look at all this. This is all like boxes and all of the Ikea trash that I have to recycle. This came out 10 out of 10. I love it. So not only do I like the look of this table with the wood and the white, but I also love that it's a high table. Just looks so nice. So that is the last thing I'm gonna be putting together in this video. I am so tired. I'm ready for sleep. Look how much better, okay, ignore this. But look how much better everything looks. It just looks so nice in here. It actually is starting to look like my apartment. So I'm so happy with everything I picked out from Ikea. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. I love you guys so much. I still have so many more apartment videos I'm gonna be filming, but everything is finally getting put together. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.